I think both the Internet of Things and AI have huge potential for good, but great potential for being misused. And that's actually why I think that the incorporation of normal people, ordinary people who aren't technologists, um, is going to be a huge change for this. The Internet of Things is really about how can the Internet serve people better. It should be better called the Internet of People. And how do sensors and surveillance and all the things that can now be tracked actually help us improve lives. The big change is that we can actually track things on a mass scale. So up to now, we've always had to measure things person to person. Health is a great example. So with health, we've looked at doctors and patients and you know, working one to one and addressing single diseases. But in fact, the social determinants shape 85% of health outcomes. So we're spending all our money on research and, and, and consultation on the 15% of health outcomes and not, doing, not addressing the 85%. The Internet of Things and real-time tracking and algorithms can give us a much better idea about what will work to improve people's lives on the whole. The best analogy is insurance, life insurance. So before there was life insurance, two workers had to work together and if you die, I'll look after your family and if I die, you'll laugh. I mean, that's a very painful thing to do. With life insurance, the risk is spread over a much bigger group. We can apply numbers on a large scale to get the benefits of probability and statistics and have much more impact about how we spend our money to improve lives, both for governments and for philanthropic organizations, as well as just regular communities. We can improve lives much cheaper with far better effect with the use of the internet.